Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I want you to take a close look at the following photo. Can you find the man in the forest? Odds are you found him right away. Am I right? But did you see his four larger brothers? If you missed them, that's okay. To a casual observer, the camouflage blended right into the background, as camouflage should. Did you also happen to see the squares that were inserted into the frame? If you miss them too, that's okay. I intentionally made it difficult. I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to create your own camouflage patterns. We're going to use some features you may not have used before, but once we're done here, you'll know more about Excel and have a nice camo pattern that you can stick on something. In cell A1, type equals rand, R-A-N-D, and then open close parentheses. Now it's a good time to resize our cells. Click the triangle header that's next to the A and above 1. This will highlight all the cells in the sheet. Now move your mouse between any two letters along the top row until you get that little two-headed arrow with a line through it. This means you can now click, hold, and drag your columns to the size you want. I'm going to pick 15 pixels wide for this example. With all the cells still highlighted, do the same thing to the rows. Point between the numbers, click, hold, and drag your rows to be 15 pixels tall. Now you have a bunch of squares. Perfect. Let's go back and click on cell A1. Now click, hold on that little box in the lower right corner of the cell. This allows you to drag values or formulas and fill other cells. So go ahead and drag it to the right a bit. Now you have a different random value for each cell in your top row. You now have a green box around all your random values. Click hold on this little green square and drag it down to fill your screen. Wow, that's a lot of random numbers. Great. Now the fun part. Highlight everything again. Click on conditional formatting in the top ribbon. Choose color scales and at the bottom click on more rules. In the top pane, you'll want to select Format All Cells Based on Their Values. In the bottom pane, you have a choice of format style. Let's pick two color scale to keep it simple at this point. For the minimum, you're going to change this drop down to percentile, and I'm going to choose 25 for the value. Leave the color alone for just a second. For the maximum, let's pick percentile again and choose something like 75. Now for our minimum color, Double click on the color and pick more colors at the bottom. At the top of the color screen are two tabs. Let's pick the standard tab for now and it brings up this nice honeycomb of colors. There's a brown in the absolute lower left, so let's click on that. Click OK. Now let's pick our maximum color. Click on the color and select more colors. Pick standard colors again and let's choose a greenish color. There you go. Camo. But you know what? This isn't quite what I was hoping. The green is too bright for what I had in mind, so let's change it. Click on Conditional Formatting and go down to Manage Rules. Make sure the menu at the top says This Worksheet. You can either double click on the color bar or on the Edit Rule button. Let's click on our green color bar now and change it. More colors. Let's drop down diagonally and left one. That's a bit darker and might be more useful to you. Now, if we go back and edit it one more time, we can manually set our colors, so let's do that. I'm going to pick a three color scale this time. I'm going to set my bottom 10% to be red 28, green 35, blue 17. I'll set my middle color at 50% to be 83, 114, and 55. And my high color to be 201, 144, 115, and that'll be at 90%. Okay, okay. And now we get the camouflage pattern that's in the lower left of our forest picture. Now that you know how to do this, you can play around with the colors, percentiles, and pixel sizes to get it matched to your environment. I'm going to quickly show you how to do a few more things. So let's go back to conditional formatting and manage our rule. This worksheet, edit rule. Let's pick a three color scale and change our percentiles and colors. I'll set my minimum to be 10, and I'll also set this color to be black. For my midpoint now, I'll go ahead and pick percentile, Let's keep it at 50, which is the true midpoint. Of course, you can pick anything to shift your scale one way or the other. Let's set this color to navy blue. Lastly, for my maximum, I'll set my percentile to 80, and its color to a very light blue. Click OK. Now, how about that? 
something ready to head out to sea. Anyway, you see how to do this now. You can have full control of your colors and how dark or light the whole thing appears based on where you set your percentile cutoffs. If we reset our minimum black to 25, the entire thing gets a bit darker because anything in the lower quarter now is fully black. And if you don't like the specific random pattern shown, press F9 and Excel will recalculate the entire sheet and you'll get an entirely new random pattern. Lastly, click in the top left again to highlight all the rows and columns and drag everything to say 5 pixels square. Now you have a completely different look. It's totally up to you. Go nuts with it. You can make your own patterns for any kind of environment now. Load some sticker paper into your printer and have fun. Or if you have a way to print onto fabric, then I'm very jealous of you right now. I thought this was really neat when I stumbled upon it and felt compelled to pass it on. I'll make a second video soon that'll show you some additional strategies to get some additional control and variation in your patterns. I'm Mike Thompson. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.